Hello. Uh, whoever may or may not be here, fuck. I don't have a viewer count because o OBS. Wow. Because <laughs> OBS says in, not available in slash A like normal. Uh, there is something actually busted right now, I think, with OBS. I go figure, right? Because uh, um, people were having trouble yesterday. Oh. Hope I don't get effed for trying to stream. Hope I ain't getting effed. Dude, I just... Not not to be a broken record, I really want to play fucking pencil and paper role-playing games more. Same, though. What's that? Same, though. How many are you in? Um, are we counting Monster of the Week? No, because we haven't played in like six months plus. <laughs> um, two and running one. That's not bad. I'm if we if we don't count Monster of the Week, I'm in one. Period. Although to be fair, the one that I'm running is on a hiatus because the the of the Packers breaking my computer, all of the stuff was on there. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Yep. Thank you, Very Dark. Bad. Thank you for being dark. Eventually, eventually you'll sub with enough money that I'll get a paycheck. Anyways. <laughs> oh, did my... Dark said that he never watched fucking Seinfeld and that I pointed out that he quotes it all the time. I do. It's funny. I, I thought of you guys talking about that because Morgan was watching Seinfeld in the hospital and she's like, wow, what problematic garbage this show is. It's so bad. It's such shit. Yeah. Like... Creeping on a 15-year-old girl bad in one episode, apparently. It's not great. Like... What up, Weave? Seinfeld, I feel like, sits in the same area as Friends, where we need to just leave it behind. Yeah. So, of course, of course, Jerry was defending Kramer when he had his racist rant. Yeah. Like, go figure. Um, yeah, it's not... Like, it sucks because, like, objectively... I'm going to say objectively about a subjective thing. Objectively, all the high note stuff that everyone remembers is funny. But also, like fuck them. What's that? It's like one out of eight episodes. Yeah. It's because it ran so long. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, fuck them. Um, but, yeah, um, I... There's Monster of the Week, which we haven't played in 100 years, so I don't count that. Um, and then there's my 5th edition game that I'm hoping is not going to be become victim to the, my 5e curse, but it's technically not over yet either. Um, it's just... I gotta figure out now if I want to actually do an in-person game or not, because this whole COVID experience has kind of shook me a little. Yeah. Uh... And so it's oh, like, free, Weeby. what's that? I didn't hear you. Weaver says Se Seinfeld is one of those things that had no substance, but just enough decoration to keep it going. Yeah. And you know what I think about now that I think about it, the best episodes always involved an actor and a concept that were not them. Yep. Right. Like the soup Nazi, uh, what's his face is, What's his face is dad with Festivus? Like, those are all like shit that did involve the main cast. Sans may be George, and only because he's so memeable. So, not even like really anything within the show. It's just he's a memeable motherfucker. But yeah, fuck that show. Fuck Seinfeld. Time for the Seinfeld role playing game. <laughs> Um. Oh, you mean Spyhander? <laughs> yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I'm just imagining a fucking Warhammer scene, you know, of like people getting mauled and shit by big swords and big mutant monsters corrupted by I magic, and the Seinfeld theme playing during bam, 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 bam. <laughs> like, Somebody just get the 
trailer for fucking Vermintide 2 and put the Seinfeld team over it. Bear. That's, you know what? I want a montage of just fucked up shit with Seinfeld over it. Like, I want the, I want to see, like, clips from End of Evangelion. <laughs> We're like, like, Shinji fucking strangling Asuka and, you know, people horribly dying in an apocalypse left and right. And <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, just a game about nothing, yeah. <laughs> fucking Heather walks in to see Harry dead. <laughs> oh god, that's awful, but that's so funny. Holy shit, that that, that that's basically uh that's basically what happened to our Pathfinder group last night, like uh yeah, what the fuck was that about? Um so TLDR uh, we we trudged through for three months, mind you, uh, a horribly boring dungeon. None of it is our friend's fault. We're this supreme made adventure path, um, but this dungeon just sucked. It wasn't interesting. Uh, part of the problem why it's interesting is like the the first two levels are basically like a destroyed abbey, so it's like it's an abbey. Yeah, like there's nothing to it. Yeah, like yeah. Um, although the floor that had all the stuff that was supposed to be to it also kind of sucked. Like, I feel like they could have really blasted it there, but they didn't. But we get into the room that has, like, the, the evil door that, if it's opened all the way, is gonna fuck up the world. It's open a crack. And there's the villain, and he's got, of course, an outsider of some kind as his companion to help fight us. And we mess him up pretty bad. But towards the end, he gets in some lucky rolls with some spells that, like, left one character paralyzed, and it left me and Avery's character not paralyzed, but we both have low strength to begin with, because we're little babies that don't need it, right? Yeah. So it lowered our strength to a point where, like, we're like, we couldn't move. We weren't paralyzed, but we couldn't move because the weight of our equipment was too heavy. Oh, no. Especially in Burlap's case, because he wears uh, medium armor. Me throw medium armor, but still medium armor. So he was flat, like, like Magnolia, that's Avery's character, was probably, I think, on, like, her hands and knees and stuff, but, like, Burlap was flat on his back. So three out of the eight party members are, are uh, paralyzed. I say eight because, like, there's, like, a bunch of NPCs this round. Um... And so this guy, whose only mission is to get this door open, and is about to die, and has three of us paralyzed, cast fucking Earthquake. He gets hit. He gets hit before, but he makes his concentration check. Right? And so Earthquake goes off. By the time we got out of the room, um, Brillip had one hit point. And he has a constitution of 11. So in, in, in Pathfinder 1st Edition, because it's based on 3rd Edition D&D, &D, um, basically, um, if I got down to negative 11, which when debris is falling on you isn't hard. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, I could have just ate it right there. I did it. Uh, I played up to the terror, though, because it was, it was, it was butt-clenching uh, for the players, but I just imagined being you know laying down face up not being able to move because your shit's so heavy and just having rocks fucking fall on you holy shit um yeah, no, that'd be so so we won we all escaped and we won but now we gotta like figure out how to get out because like a large portion of the dungeon is just fucked um so it was awesome I loved it it was great yeah like that's one of those things where it's like sometimes it, it works out great where like you don't actually need to classically really put a hurting on the players to make their butts clench. Sometimes you can do it without anybody close to dying or at least for most of the fight not close to dying. And that's a great way to do it. Um...
Okay. It is 640, so let me, first of all, let me check this notification that I can't ignore because I'm just bad at, oh, oh okay, never mind. Uh, cool. Let me, I'm bad at navigating uh, tabs apparently. Let me just let me just show my special PS2 for all the fucking world to see. Hell yeah. Special PS2. And then I'll get it. Okay. Give me Una Momento, we'll get you linked up. We'll show operation now though. Link up, man fam. I feel like Resident Evil. Uh I actually really enjoyed it. Like there were a couple where uh, I got a little testy, but I think that's more just my, um, what's what I'm looking for? Like, my general inexperience with games from that era. Yeah. More than the game itself. Yeah. Um, the only thing I think I legitimately did not like that I was like, if I could remove this from the game, I would, was that thing at the end where you had to, like, walk super fucking... Oh, with the bomb? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the only part that I was like, this is so contrived to drag out the ass end of this game. I feel like in a lot of, like, older um, survival horror games, and I count that one because it's a remake, yes. um, it's almost, like, obligatory to just have some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? would have been way more terrifying had I not already gone into that room and dealt with the chimeras. Yeah. Um. Also, that stretch of the game, like, I think it's less scary in general just because, like, you've, you don't have the house yeah. uh, stuff. And at that point, you have a better... It's It's technological horror. So you have a better grasp of what's going on. Yeah, uh, I would agree with that. Okay. All right. I actually kind of remember this time. Uh, I say kind of. Key operative word is kind of. Are you okay with me putting my dish in the in the dishwasher real quick, just so the kids yeah. don't? Hey, go ahead. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, I think I I have this hallway to go down to. She has something circled. I don't remember what's circled, though. Oh, cool. The enemy stayed dead. I knew it. I knew it was going to fuck it up. All right. don't have a wife to look at and my dad's dead I don't have a wife I'm like a 17 year old girl bud and I'm sis wait you can be sis and gay why do I keep I've been doing that so much lately what the fuck is wrong with me where I've been conflating cis with straight. Oh, it's the, oh, that's right, this spooky fucking shit. And the key. No, there's no time to acquire a wife. I gotta fucking take this samurai sword and avenge my dad. It's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, are you going to play... I imagine you're gonna play the Resident Evil 2 remake. The, the... Yes, we're playing, we're playing for sure. We are playing... One, two, four, seven, and eight. Okay. So he is still up in the air. And five and six are right out. Okay. Um So don't quote me on this because I don't know for sure. But the two re the the two remake might change the plot significantly enough that going into that coming 
because because it's so new they might have changed enough that some shit might be weird but I'm not positive right like plot wise ultimately what we decided is that we're playing the series for fun yeah as opposed to like a, a dedicated like lore dive um and because of that we're like we just play the remake and if it fucks shit up it fucks shit up it's not like we're gonna know the difference <laughs> you might though Bitch, literally you might. all i know about leon s kennedy is that he's a fucking twink that's literally it he's not a twink Ooh, many years of being on the internet have told me otherwise the internet thinks everyone's a fucking twink that's not true at all i think my dad's a twink what no ew did i get some chemicals wait hold on god damn it hold on no, bitch bitch <laughs> For some reason, you said that in just the right tone that my brain was like, young buddy, right afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, hi, Jay. This hi, is Jay. the, this is the, this is the closest thing I have to my wife is my dad's. Oh, I don't think I actually read this. No, you did not. Oh, fuck. A, a joke has become gratuitous. All right. I'm going to look at my dad. All right. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted to go there. And it was there that the girl went away, not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Gillespie. Gillespie said. Yeah, I, I said that. You misheard me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> original, original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul Gillespie. escaped. What? Gillespie. I said that. No. You Gil said Gillespie. Gillespie. G <laughs> Gilly, fuck, who give, fuck it. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. No, you got it. Actually, listen, Dahlia Gillespie. I'm not, suit. I'm not, I'm not playing this for a Lord dub. I'm just playing this for Wait. fun. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live with a baby, and that girl of mine, of ours. Seven, as I read this whole fucking letter, uh, seven <laughs> years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alyssa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alyssa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed and said for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alessa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had no proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess, I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought... She could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. 
Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh so... Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Fuck yeah, this... This won't be a running gag. Holy shit. <laughs> like, that was a lot. I was going to look at this bloody notebook as a gag when you told me to look at your wife, but nah, that's too much. It's a really good um, and very short sum up of, of the main part of the first game. Yeah. That you, 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 in theory, would need to know to play this one. Oh, it's a like, battery from a stun gun. All right, no, I think I, yeah. Boo, Lord, boo. <laughs> Boo! Um, all my homies hate lore. All my homies hate lore. Um, when Allie and I first played this, this was the first one we played. We hadn't played the original one. Right. So, is that... It, it was a completely different vibe to the game than playing this knowing that it's a sequel to the first game. I must have used that chemical on something else that was a puzzle and just don't remember. Look at your dad's gift. I did. Done did it. Yeah, I, really, I really want a hypercut of like Judd look to your dad and then it's just Harry Mason dead on the fucking recliner. <laughs> 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 Um, I don't think we got the chemical. I think that... Um, no, she took it. I, I distinctly remember her taking the chemical, and there was a whole bunch of notes being like, oh, yeah, if you mix all this fucking shit together. Are you talking... Oh, that was for a different thing, though. You're not looking for... Okay, well, then... Uh, Let me... Uh, there is a couple rooms on this floor that you have not yet... Oh, yeah, I see them. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's cool. I'm trying to do this in a spoiler that free way. That scared the fuck out of me, don't. <laughs> it's like a void. I appreciate my I, I don't. Not, I don't want ASMR during fucking Silent Hill. I don't want any ASMR. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want classic ASMR. I don't want lewd. I don't want girlfriend. I don't want uh fucking whatever subgenres there are. I Maybe don't really know. I don't, I don't know. know why this reminded me. But Jeff's character and my character in Vampire the Masquerade, Deadass almost like got in a extreme verbal altercation last session. Oh, the the, the actual characters. Yes. Okay. Oh God, no, not Jeff and I. No. The, I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. And also, not 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 Jeff. Our friend Jeff, who is in the chat. It's a different Jeff, right? No, it's our friend Jeff who was in the chat. Oh, they're in the va they're in the vampire game. Yeah. I don't, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's the other bathroom. Cause I thought I thought that was like a group of internet friends that was like separate from everybody. I. I... It, it is. It is not ish, kind of. But regardless, um. I don't know how you keep missing the door to the bathroom. I don't know, dude. Well, good. Wow, it was worth it. <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> Can you go to the second floor of the map? All right, hold on. Let me pop oh, some E. Shit, that was funny. There we go. That was funny. Um, I got a fucking text message. Anyways, yeah. I'm... It, I think the reason it reminded me is I'm extremely excited about the idea of the fact that um, having two characters in a party who will not inherently agree on everything and being able to actually play those characters fully mm -hmm. without like, like, I feel like it, if I feel like if I in character crossed a line, Jeff would call me out on it and I would not have to be constantly afraid of hitting that, you know? Or vice versa. 
like if Jeff crossed my line, I would call him out on it. So I'm very excited to actually like have that interaction with those characters because one of the inherent things about Vampire the Masquerade is just that no character is a good guy. Right, of course. Like blatant, nobody's a good guy. So being able to play that out is going to be dope. That is a game. That is one of the, that is one game of the popular sphere that has eluded me for some reason. That I would like to play some time, but just never have. I feel like that's a game where you have to have a really good DM. Yeah. Because like I've played that game with a shitty DM, and it was a terrible time. Well, I'm sure. And not like shitty DM because they're new, but like shitty because they're a terrible person. <laughs> I feel like that's a qualifier that needs to be made. You Why am I? Up there on the map. But it says I'm on the yeah. first. It says I'm here, though, dude. Did you, did you hit the button in the elevator to go up? I didn't have to. It just did it. It just went. Watch. I was like, oh, don't WB frog me. Are you serious? It didn't do this last time. It straight up did not. All right, fuck it. What, what floor am I going to? Two. Oh, I'm in the elevator. Oh, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what I meant to me. <laughs> okay, now I'm there. Yeah. It's oh, worth it. oh my God. Sorry, I'm just... A, a general rule of thumb of the hospitals in the game is that it's always worth it to just try and clear every room so you know what you're working with. Yeah, I I know we did that last time in a depression simulator, aka Silent Hill Two. Oh, I was like, we didn't. What you what 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 did you think was depression simulator? I was simulator? like, we didn't play Rule of Rose. <laughs> like, oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh man, this fucking hunchback kid is coming for me. God, I want a re I want a fucking HD remaster of Rule of Rose so goddamn bad. I, you know, in the past, I would say that shit is way too niche, but fuck, man, I've seen, I've seen weirder get done, done did. So. Especially because that publishing company like has done a bunch of other stuff too. Right. Like. I think the only reason that that got like oh okay um, a nail polish remover i think the only reason that really got like quashed as much as it did was because there was like the lesbian overtones for a lot of it and you know the fucking pearl clutching white parents can let that happen yeah Watch these nuts. Oh god, it's creepy man time. Yeah, it is. Storyline's so good. And the soundtrack is fucking so good. Yeah, I'm not doing a deep dive with Laura on this. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> you may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue. The path to paradise. Oh, buddy, that's a weird pickup line. <laughs> the paradise. Can you imagine just walking up to? No, no. Can we talk about this for a hot second? Yeah. Can you imagine walking up to a girl and being like in a bar and being like, "Wanna follow me to the path to paradise?" and <laughs> not getting kicked out of the bar? The paradise is my dick. If you didn't get it. <laughs> Anyways, what a fuck, and then you just get thrown. <laughs> Oh man. You get thrown out and then you just have a look on your face and it freeze frames and the music goes bang or bring down there. I was like, where is it? Yeah. Gotta be somewhere. Took me it took me a moment. If the door's locked, open it. Oh no. Use the Oh, is he being literal here? If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor. I forgot his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? 
I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. I want to reiterate from the whole joke about looking at my wife that this is like a 17-year-old girl. Like, striz, striz up. Okay, that's the stairs. So, Are you ready to get fucked right the fuck up right now? Sure. The publishing company who did Rule of Rose. It's from software. Also, uh, they're now owned by Onion Games. Onion um, Games? Yeah. Uh, they also did Dandy Dungeon, the satirical RPG Moon, Tulip, and the No More Heroes game on the Wii. You know what? Moon Moon got fucking uh, translated and put on the Switch. So you know what? They, absolutely, a rule rose could happen. The first is larger than the second. The second, twice the third. The third, smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Jesus Christ. Fuck, dude. Yeah, the rest of it is saving you from this particular uh, puzzle. Because I think that this puzzle is the same across difficulties. Uh huh. Oh, God. You know what? Wait. This yeah. is actually way worse in hard mode difficulty. Do you want to hear the hard mode poem? Uh, not yet, because the, the this poem has already melted my fucking brain. <laughs> oh, here's here's the thing. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go... First of all, can I go through the steps? It's locked, of course. I'm gonna go, I, I think I can get that key from downstairs. I'm gonna go do that now. I might if I might as well see if I can do that now. I got uh, the I, have in your inventory. the nail polish remover. Okay. That should do it, right? Yeah. I get I get the gunk out. I've always hated non-acetone nail polish remover. I feel like that should just never work. I like the pu the puzzles in Resident Evil are can be difficult, but they don't feel in super obtuse. I, I guess this isn't obtuse. It's just like it's. You, oh, you, here's a good way to put it. In Resident Evil, it's very object based, and in Silent Hill, it's very text based. Silent Hill is literally like read this fucking riddle and figure it out, dumbass. Uh, and the Resident Evil, it's like, push these four fucking statues around and see what happens. Uh, alright, it's down yonder. Tally fourth! Oh god, tally fucking fourth. Let's go! Let's get it! Spray it with perfume. All right. TV says or chess pieces. Never forget the chess pieces. Oh, I, I I have forgotten though. I don't remember which one. It, that's from. Oh, oh, it's a stairwell key. All right. You know what? That's another thing. Um, I think it's just um probably residual from the era of the game but trying to do that one puzzle in the first game where you have to like slide the statues into the right spot as the walls are closing yeah. is so fucking frustrating because the controller does like the you you can't diagonal yeah and i think that's just a holdover from the age of the game initially but damn that was infuriating Well, then, that game like a solid 
solid nine out of ten. The next, which ones are you playing again? You did this one. I know for sure it's one, two, four, seven, eight. I don't know about three. You should play three. I know the three remake isn't as good as two as people say, but it's still like overall like a solid entry. Right? Like it I wouldn't call it it's definitely not like five and six territory. I mean the original Nemesis game, like RE three, is very popular. Oh yeah. I would uh, so if you if there's if there's an easy way to do it, like if you can um or if you or if you want to venture into emulation, I would also suggest uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica as an entry. I don't know if you need to play Resident Evil Zero, uh, but if you choose to go that route, it's that's also not a bad entry. Like the only reason I say I don't know about three is because I can't remember what we decided. <laughs> I have the brain of a bird. I the just, only ones that I know for sure are out are five and six because we don't feel like dealing with that race. So shit. I don't know if six. I don't know if six has it, but five definitely has it. Yeah, six overall like was just kind of like not good. It seems to me, yeah, like Pan is just like a boring entry. Yeah. And because there's so many of them and it took us so long to get through the first game, which was admittedly mostly my fault. Um, it's one of those things where it's like we'd rather just get to seven and eight. Yeah. The the only thing that sucks though. What the fuck is she head tracking to? Uh, it's probably still the. Whoops! I did, I forgot. Whoops. It's it's the it's the part where. Oh, where that thing was on the table. Okay. Got oh, it, got just share anything to say about. The only thing that sucks though about five and skipping that. And don't get me wrong, it is extremely valid, and I agree with the decision. Um, but it also is the finale to five is the finale to the story you have started in resident evil that's incredibly unfortunate and we will just read the wiki yeah <laughs> I, would, I would at least definitely for the effect maybe watch the final battle cutscene uh which is because you're uh, battling a white man and not mudman so uh, but yeah. Like, just read the wiki up to that point and then watch the cutscene for fun. Uh, and then six is kind of. Six feels like it starts a new story, but no one likes six, so whatever. It's kind of self contained. Um, the all demo right. for seven is fucking amazing. Yeah. No, seven, seven's good. Seven starts its own arc. That sounds infinitely more interesting with some of the direction it goes. I don't, I'm not familiar with the plot of eight because I don't want to spoil any more than I already have spoiled. But um, yeah, like I stayed away from everything about eight that I possibly could because I wanted to go in fresh. Okay, can you screen cap these so you can read this shit to me? Like, don't send it to me because I'm not going to be able to like click on Discord without something fucking dumb happening. But like. Okay. So I can walk you through the solution if you need it. Well, does it does it have the actual poem on there for you to read? All right. Uh, let me read it myself first again. Okay. The first is larger than the second. Okay. Second, twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the first. So fourth is going to be the smallest one. But I, it sounds like I have to work backwards. Uh, okay. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row one of the numbers is the final key. Okay. Read me. Fun fact. 
Fun fact, Avery knows the solution. Oh, man. <laughs> Amazing. Um, read the last line of the first paragraph to me. The fourth is half the first. Okay. And then, what's the next line up? The third is smaller than the fourth. Uh, the third is smaller than the fourth. What's the second line? The second is twice the third. Okay. And then... The first one is the... What, what's the first line? The first is larger than the second. Okay. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is less than, did it say? The third is smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is one half of the first. Is the first number eight? Yes. Okay. And it's larger than the third? The first is larger than the second. Larger than the second. Which is twice the third. Yes. Is it six? Yes. Eight, six, three, four? I think it's the first puzzle in this fucking series I actually figured out myself instead of just being like fucking tell me but the logic puzzle was clear I just had to suss it out right um, I was like, it was like if I could just figure out the first and la last number first then I know I can I know I can get it in charge of the hard mode difficulty puzzles is someone who desperately wanted their poetry published and just could never do so. I'm convinced. Oh boy. I don't remember these realistic lady screens. Oh no. I don't... Do you want the hard mode poem? Yeah, now you can give it to me now that I'm... It is... quite long. <laughs> Actually, is this another one that's put on the OST? Oh! Oh, okay. There's a tattoo on its foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. I feel, okay. I feel your stress. There's a medical record here. Could this be for the dead guy? Background, unknown. Name, age, unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed cardioid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was the cause of the neck wound. Excuse me, possible suicide, but wound at angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact, room M4. Extremely bummed about the fact that apparently Twitch 
as a character limit for posting in the uh, word the the, com the comments. But the poem starts with pure eyes blue like a glassy bead. You are always looking at me as I am always looking at you. Um, Fuck off. And it just there's like one of the lines in this is how would you scream? I dude, those are the type of poems. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't know about Bushido Blade. God, it was the way they were framed that got me. It just got uh, on the sides. Fucking gross. Anyways, yeah, those those are the type those are the type of Silent Hill puzzles where I'm like, I don't have a fucking clue to where to begin. Like, I don't want to have to do linguistics well, there's to... a whole fucking there's a whole fucking chart listed with the riddle that has like ears eyes nose mouth yeah. cheeks tied fingers, and you have to parse out that fucking sadomasochistic incel bullshit with the goddamn chart yeah okay so let's go to m4 now yeah it's like i don't i don't want to like the the riddle's tough enough without having to like decipher the actual Let's. Oh, maybe I should read it first. I don't know. Should it? <laughs> Fuck off. Literally, me when Andrew like tries to sleep through his alarm, I'm like, turn that thing the fuck off, or so help me God. <laughs> Uh, let me get in my creepy headspace. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it. Open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what a tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. Fuck right off. Oh man, I want to isolate that sound clip for an alert. Fuck right. Oh, what the fuck? Is it the same number as before? No. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I don't have the code yet, right? Like, I didn't run oh. into it already? There was no... I don't remember this being a mention of this on the... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe... Maybe this clock again. Um... Uh, uh, 40, 41. Maybe try zero six forty two. What? Do you know how to read an analog? Oh, I'm looking. I, 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 this shit is so fucking blurry and PS two e. I could, I see it now. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, so uh, zero eight. It makes more sense now. This is actually on the line. Uh, <laughs> stop. Um. Oh, maybe maybe it wants the actual time though. I was I was reading the numbers literally too because it's a suitcase. Uh, we'll try. We'll start with thirty though. So uh, thirty-two. We'll try zero eight thirty-two. Bro, 
wrote this in walkthrough. Garbage spell check. Hey, okay. Instant camera. Could you imagine one day we're just hanging out? We have our buddy's instant camera and suddenly it's Silent Hill. And it's just <laughs> like, the, the camera's the key to solving the room. And we're just like, yeah, let's just take selfies though. <laughs> Selfie game is strong in Silent Hill. Selfie game very strong. Use the fog to your advantage, people. I feel your stress. Wait, what's this shit? Oh, it's just not. Uh, am I supposed to take a picture of that dead body? Like, I don't know. No, I don't think you can use the, um... Oh, I haven't gone through... I haven't, I haven't tried going into the day room yet, apparently. Yeah, you still have the third floor, and according to the elevator, you have a basement. All right, okay. Okay. So let's... Let's fight in love. Uh, all right, I go back through here to get to the elevator. One in my two. Let motherfucker, why? Uh, if I just there we go. That should stop that from happening. Uh, I don't know if it shows up on other people's screens or anything, but like uh, launch box late. I don't know what's causing it lately. It must have something to do with the update. Um, the little loading bar will, will flash like for like a split second on the screen. And it didn't do anything except do that last time. But this time it made it made my special PS2 minimize. Um, I did not see it on Discord. Oh, uh, it probably showed it. It def I, I'm pretty sure I saw it happen on the stream though because Okay. You know. I would not be surprised. I just can't confirm that it occurred on the Yeah, well you're getting a direct feed, right? Like so that that tracks. Oh. Let's save the basement for last because never mind. Let's go to the basement. Never mind. What the fuck? Where do I fucking go? Go back to the first floor. Oh, and hold on. Well, now I. Because you have a key, you have not used. It. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. It's been so long since I got that fucking key. I just. It's been like ten minutes. <laughs> it feels like forever. A lot's happened those ten minutes. Solved a puzzle. Stanley's creeping on me. Uh, Fucking feel your stress, man. Who uh, has time for tears? Feel your stress. <laughs> that's the best. That's the that like that? bass boosted version of that song that's going to play in my head the next time I disassociate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's the actual. What well, fucked up? All right, hold on. That might replace the the base boosted Wii theme that Moon sent me, and I was like, "Yes, this is the vibe." Look at that! Look at that fucking key being used without me going to the menu. Is that nice? I I just wish it was. I want. It'd be nice if it was consistent. That's why I fumble with the controls sometimes. I'm like, oh, oh, it made a noise. Okay, we're getting to the third floor. Is there a, is there a top floor? Is there a fourth? Oh, it's the roof. All right. I would have looked really hard if it was locked. <laughs> I would have fucking preed. Oh, a special treatment room. I feel your stress. All right. Fuck is locked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was here, actually. 
Oh, fuck. You fucking thought. Blade Stomp made that for me. Okay, these are just walls. Are they just to spook me? They're for maximum comfort. No, not the padded walls, the... <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, nothing gives me more joy than you getting freaked out by this fucking atrocious individual. I didn't even freak me out, it just annoys me at this rate. It was a little freaky at first, now it's just like, come on, man. Come on, man. Flowing freely your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> hope you like, hope y'all enjoyed that deep pool. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh yes, Heather. I wonder what would break first. Awesome. <laughs> Just imagine Batman getting his fucking back broke by Bane, and then you hear bow, 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 bow. I'm Bane. I'm stuck on that Bane voice being like, I was bored in Silent Hill. Bored oh, by it. <laughs> I didn't get traumatized until I saw the fog. If I did, it was blinding. Uh, after all, after all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Oh my god, I, I will never get Stanley over how bad that voice was. I will never be over that. I liked it. I will never, I will never be over that. And it, well, by bad, I mean memeable. Oh, and oh, it was extremely memeable. It's somehow more. Never, I'll never be over the fact that he got fucking sunburn lines from the damn mask. <laughs> it's true that voice is so good that in the harley quinn cartoon the guy who plays vane is just doing or bane is just doing like a really bad version of that voice it's so good punishment for brutality towards patient 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room dismissal policy no longer in effect contact the chief if you have any questions there's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence the trick is to not leave any marks Oh boy. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Excuse that voice with the word in my man. <laughs> Ad break. God damn it. Ad break. On your stream. Oh wait. Did the people? Know everybody got the ad break. Did people get ads right away? Because I I I, I think I did the thing right. I did go in and fuck with it. I know that there were some when I first opened it, but it's only good for thirty minutes. So. All right. I tried to make them the shortest fucking ones too. I picked like the thirty second or whatever. Well, I think it's so many minutes equates to how, like, so many minutes of ads equates to how many minutes of non-ads you get. Mm -hmm. Do the Cupid Shuffle over here. Cupid Shuffle Shuffle. Oh, speaking of shuffles. I gotta, I gotta message oh. you something. The Cupid Shuffle. I still haven't found the stun gun. 
Oh god, there's another doll. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't want to touch that with a 10 foot pole. No, bitch, read the note. Read the creepy note. I'm a sacred lover. I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet with a single key to this door, these fe those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too. Even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves of the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. You know what Nathan's favorite Bane line is? What? It's the part where he's giving the speech to, like, the the people of Gotham in the football field. And he's oh, like, God. and he goes, Gotham is yours! Do with it as you please! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh, I hope you guys enjoy me undercutting, undercutting all the dramatic tension by fucking doing this guy's bane now. But I've just decided. To be fair, Stanley Coleman's not exactly a great guy. Like, I still feel bad for him, but I feel bad for everyone that winds up in this particular iteration of Brookhaven. Bitch, he ain't real. I'm just, I'm talking about dramatic, dramatic persona. Dramatic persona. Dramatic these nuts. Ah. Persona. Persona. Hey, Jed. Yeah. Did you know that e girls want to be called i ladies now? Do they? Yeah. I ladies dick. I ladies nuts on your face. There we go. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> you can thank Jeff for that one. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff. Got him. I can hear Dark losing his shit in the other room. <laughs> oh my fuck. Is this, is this the same number? Yeah, 864. Maybe it's already open? But it said it was locked. Mm, maybe it's not the same number. Are you on the second? You're not on the second floor, right? Wait, is it 8643? Am I bad? I did 8643. Whoops, I hit the wrong button completely. Well, no, 4 was the last number, though. So it would be 8634. I don't see a thing, though. Okay, let me... Make sure. Uh, maybe I have to go to the bossman next instead. Mente. Yeah, uh, I do think though. I'm since I'm pretty close to it. I'm gonna hit the roof. Explore the roof for a hot second. Oh, completely wrong. Okay, and then turn to my left. Or wait, no. Uh, oh no! It, yeah, to my to my right, immediate right. Missed it by one door. I long for slumber. Why I'm, I've been so tired all week. Same. Rough. Same yeah, though, bro. have a reason. Nah. Nah. -uh. These right. kids don't mean shit. All right. 
<laughs> Fuck some kids. The kids today were like, we love you, Mr. McNeil. Uh, I also like the rooftop. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly like Superman of the DC universe from which I am from. You too? Stanley Cole. Oh, okay. That's it? That's the whole thing? That's the whole thing? Damn. Oh, yes. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Thunder flies for the uh health stuff. Oh, thank you. They're so grunting over here, dude. Damn, they really did help your ass out. Well, look at it, they got me. I got my armor on, though. Okay, he's dead. So he ain't moving. Right, hold on. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Woof. Oh, okay. Let's get that, uh... Well, that experiment went swimmingly. So. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? She's got nothing to say about that. Is there anything else up here? No, oh, it don't seem like she gives a fuck about anything on this roof. Some machine gun? Get the fuck out of here. We ought to be OPAF. God damn. We're gamer girls. Hi, ladies. <laughs> okay. To the basement. Why? No, absolutely not. Why that weird noise in the back? She's head tracking to. Okay, see them bullets. Oh, it's that fucking wheel. Wait, there's not too many doors here. Bitch, come on. <laughs> Approach, it. Approach it? Approach it. wheelchair where the person was using it probably around the corner where this fucking blood is 
Or is a gun? You don't want that blood that that that. You don't want that fucking blood that that that. I honest to God, I didn't realize what you were doing at first. I thought you were just kind of like having a stroke, and I was about to be like, "Ah, uh, Judd, Judd." <laughs> <laughs> There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into there, and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Okay. It's all just junk. She head tracking to the door? What's she head tracking onto? Over oh, here. It's blood packs. Oh, the blood pack? Wait, what? On the thing. No. Oh, that's weird. She's looking over here because she was like, oh. I wonder if. She's at the blood and then when I got over here, she's like, no, nah, I can't get through there. Oh, oh, oh. Use the camera. On the blood? Like, if, like she can't get back there, but her arm could kind of thing. Makes sense, but also not what I would ever think, considering. Oh, 6812. I thought for sure there'd be something out here. We good, Heather. We don't got. We don't got to do that. We don't got fucks with none of this. Glad to see that our buddy's first adventure after obtaining a VR set is Half Life, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Ah oh, man, I would love to be a fly on the wall to see reactions to that. I need to play Half-Life at all at some point in my life. Uh Okay. 6 Eight. One, two. The day room. Defender of the night room. The rest room. Nope. Wouldn't be Silent Hill without a bunch of locked doors. Apparently we are at three slices of toast on the French toast alert system. What? For the snow. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, 
a suspicious looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber Hope House I feel like I've heard that name before. I fucking feel your stress. You motherfucker. Uh let's let's get these few rooms on the right before I do the fucking room gauntlet on the left. I got beef jerky. Oh hey. Ambush? Oh, fuck! Oh, I blocked it! With my fucking samurai sword, what a fucking G. Where the fuck you go? Man, fuck that cat. I got shot. I got shot with a bullet. And I blocked it. I blocked the second shot with my samurai sword, bro. I'm a fucking. I'm a fucking G, dude. Fucking real, real, real survival horror hours up in here. Okay. So that's all that shit. Let's do the door gauntlet over here. We went through S1 already, I believe. Yep, because that's where I got. Quite a few are going to be fucked up. I know it. Locked. Yep. Yep. Gotta be at least one more. Hey. I mean, that was insane, right? Oh, oh, the shit's broken. He ain't happy. Oh, no. I can't go in that little... I can't go there for some reason. All right. Doll's all torn apart. It's really pretty to set. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. Come on, you know who did Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone more beautiful than this one. I had been waiting for this day for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Nah, bitch. Nah, though, nah, though, bitch. Uh, let's make sure, okay, seven.
bitch. Don't be afraid, Heather. We got the Sword of Destiny. Responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her. Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? Seems legit. Mirabella. Hey, Mirabella. Seems legit. The fuck is this box right here? Like whatever it is, she don't care. I think it's supposed to be a tissue box. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Um, the weird. I don't know if you're here for the weird stalker guy leaving me notes, but he's gone. In fact, like he gone, gone. Like, like gone, gone. Like he's dead. In fact, he blames Leonard for it. So, and Leonard just randomly called us. That's who we were talking to. I'm honestly not quite sure what exactly is going on, but, um, I don't know. I'm still felling monsters with the fucking Blade of Justice over here, so, you know, we got that going on. I have a submachine gun. Where is that? Oh, yeah, we're on the, we're on the, we're on the mission to, like, avenge him. We're still on that mission, yeah. Uh, so we get to the second floor, and it's all the way at the end of the hall. He said, "Okay." Uh, let me get to that. I'll, I'll resave my game real quick since, like, we've made progression, a lot of progression, obviously, but like, I don't know how much you actually have missed in terms of like what's going on. his name the cool private eye man douglas um vincent told douglas to look for leonard here 
like in Silent Hill. We are mm. in Silent Hill. We have accidentally found Leonard. Oh. Okay. And Len we have discovered in that phone call that Lena is Leonard is Claudia's father. Uh Mira, please feel free to do the scroll down tech or the or the tab tech where you you can just listen to this like radio if you want. You don't have to. I love her sassy teenage stance. Wait, go back. Stand still for a minute. Oh man, she's gonna WB she's gonna WB frog you. Oh there we go. For sassy, I love it. I got I got time for these demons. I'm just a sword and I have to avenge my I'm a sword. Shit. Fuck. I gotta avenge my dad. Fuck. I don't have trauma. I just wanna say avenge my dad. None of this is metaphorical to me. I just want to save my dad. And by save, I mean avenge him. He's already dead. Look at your dad. I'm not looking at my dad. I'm not looking through eight paragraphs of text. Uh, whoops. I'm not looking at the. Oh yeah, you're right. Here, guys, you, let me look, look, let me look at my dad real quick. Hold on. Not in supplies though. Yeah. I can use this. What I can combine that with? There's my dad. Uh, Did you actually read the text for that? Yeah, so you said it was like a good luck charm. Okay, okay. I, w I wasn't sure if you had prior read that or if you had spammed through that. Um, earlier. No, 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 I read it. Because I saw there was more going on there. Oh, I see the elevator. Where's the fucking stairs? Right behind me. I fucking went right. I went right by him. I am not brave. I, w I will shriek. Heather, Heather, the, the Heather, VR horror games, those ones get me. Heather's brave because, well, first of all, she has a fucking whole arsenal of weapons, for some reason. That helps a lot. Let me let's let's review. Let's review what she's got rocking here. I got my I got my sword of justice, I the same like sword. Significantly less scared in a haunted fucking asylum if I had a submachine gun. Okay, she starts out with the basics. She starts out with these, right? This is pretty part of the course for survival horror. Okay, then she gets a fucking maul. A katana, the sword of justice. I have a stun gun. If I just ever need to stun a dude, oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should be stunning dudes and then sorting them. I only have four charges on the stun gun. A handgun, a shotgun, a submachine gun. Oh, oh it's, it, machine gun. Yeah, it's not loaded. I just realized that. Okay, that's weird. I mean, to be fair, you, you found it after it was apparently unloaded into a poor individual and or elevator door. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, yeah, but fuck it. It should just be, it should be full up. All right, I guess we're going to go meet this man. I'm going to meet this man uh, into the hallway. So not here, it's through there. Was uh, okay. Probably should just be charged down. Fuck it. Four twenty. Fuck it. I'm already down the hall. No, I'm not down. <laughs> Trying to take it easy. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the fucking vibe today. But boy, it sure is. Yo, Leonard. Oh. Yo, Leonard. Oh, no. Yeah, Mira, I would not be watch. I would not be looking at... Look at something else for a moment. Okay. I thought I'm something... I'm pretty sure that's the same sound effect as the um, sliding doors in Knights of the Old Republic. I don't have a map of this area. Fuck off. Fuck off my whole dick, actually. No, 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 no. Okay. Hi, ladies. Hello, ladies. Now, this ain't Silent Hill 2. 
Kind of bright. Go for it. Come to yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I go this way? No, I can't. Fuck me. Yo, I got the sword of justice. Like, whatever. Satan? Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck about shit. I'm ready to die. Streets. Oh, there's a door. Uh, probably nothing behind me. Oh, yeah, there's another gate that I'm sure will not open. Okay. Leonard, I'm here for that ass. Yo, Leonard, what the fuck? This fucking camera needs to get behind me, dude. I'm not fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't move the camera! <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I thought it was another quarter man. Uh, oh, what I initially had assumed was a staple of Silent Hill, I actually feel like is more of a staple of just old horror games in general is the the weird funky fixed camera angle because I feel like it was oh, absolutely. just as much in, in Res Evil as it is in Silent Hill. Yeah. Understand too that uh, Alone in the Dark predated both those games. So like I don't think I played OG Alone in the Dark. Uh same. And I don't think that game, despite being survival horror, is definitely not scary because that shit is not aged. Goofy ass cartoon looking ass fucking people in that game. Um Is the original one the one that starts with the parking garage Egyptian shit, or is that the weird remake they tried to do? Uh the the original ones are like you're like a man with a mustache and a dapper suit. Okay, then that must be the remake, because Allie and I tried to play it, and the fucking control scheme was so fucking piss poor. No, New, New Alone in the Dark is where you play that guy with, like, the kind of shoulder-length black hair. and. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, no. No, oh Alone God. in the Dark and... is way older than that, and way different. Um, we got fucking soft-locked. It was so frustrating. Leonard! Leonard, you motherfucker. Leonardo, Leonardo, where are you? For fuck's Leonardo sake. DiCaprio. For fuck's sake with this fucking. Oh, okay, we're doing that, huh? Oh. This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. That's not a save point? But I know this one. It must be. Okay. What the hell? Um, was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Is that Lisa from the first game? Yes. Oh, shit. Um, the... the... The video looks a lot better on non PS1 graphics. Can you interact with it again to save? What? Can you interact with it again to let you save? I don't even see it there. Hold on. Oh, is it gone? I think it's gone. It's in blood. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm mashing. Ow. Get dunked on. Yeah, well, it didn't make her head hurt, so it's like it can't be a save point. Save well, points yes. give a headache. It's it, You can only save your game if you have a horrific migraine during and after. Bro, I, could, I saved my game during COVID. That's how fucking... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everyone shut the fuck up. Hold up. <laughs> All right, let's not. Oh God, why though? 
Uh, okay, I don't want to do the Metal Gear thing right now. Yeah, you do. Oh, bro. Bro. Hell yeah. Okay, you can gyrate all you want, buddy. I just don't... Hi, Oh my god, why? The pipe was pumping. Oh no! Who is who is Vatiel? Is that your cat? No, that's his name. Oh, the dude. Uh, I'm like, where's the door in this fucking place? What the fuck? Yeah, man. Okay, hold, where am I? Hold. What? Oh. Why is he so big? Yeah. What the fuck was going in in there? Um, I can't see shit, so I hope it's... I'll explain it later, because it actually is heavily tied to what's going on in this game, as opposed to just being something from the first game. I can't see a fuck. Uh, yeah. You just uh, gotta, like, the oh, okay, there's a path. This sucks. No, you know what? No. No, no, I got big balls. I'm a teenage girl with big balls. And I got the sword of fucking justice. I'll fu yeah, I'll fucking look at it. I doubt to check it out. Yeah, you know what? Good idea, Heather. We ain't touching that shit. We ain't we ain't fucking with that shit. Listen, we got the we got the sword, we got the Uzi. If someone tries messing with us, we got that right tat tat tat. The lock the lock is broken even in flesh world. Don't like how super red this is. What the fuck is going on? Oh, is this an instant? Is, it, is this instant death if I cross? Just tell me. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, cause like. Straight up, I, do not remember. Straight up, like I. Oh, I can go around the other way. All right. The instant we're death so... stuff in this game is a little more intuitive. I I have the opinion of. Like it's not going to be bullshit like that. Right. It's like, it's like you got the warning in the sewers and decided to cross the thing anyway. Who wants, who wants smoke? I hear you. I'm smacking his ass with this sword. Yeah. This is so Brookhaven. Oh, uh, that's a nerd that I just kicked the shit out of. Lock is broken, of course it is. Uh. Where the fuck am I going? Am I going this way? That's the way you were facing, like, in order, when you left the room prior. You were going this way. Check the storeroom. Store? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see I can go in there. Fuck. I know this room. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is a, uh... We're getting the fuck out of here, bro. Yep. I don't think there's anything in this room. I think it's just that mirror. Oh, what? No, no, hold... Hold up. Hold the fuck up buttons. Hold up. Oh god, why is it making that noise? Where do I go? What do I do? What do I do? Oh. Okay. If I recall. Do I have to interact? Have to, do I have to interact? Try to interact with it? Um, I think you have to be fully red before you can leave. Oh, dude, really? Oh, I hate this. This is actually spooky. Oh, okay, I'm- I'm bloody. Can I leave? Can I leave the fucked up room? Oh, come on. Pause real quick. Yeah? I'm, I'm double checking because I can't remember how to get out of this- how you get out of this room. Well, I'm listening to gross slushy noise, cause- so please hurry.
Yeah, it's after looking at the mirror long enough, the door will unlock. Fuck me. Alright, see ya. Oh, she's not turning away. Oh, oh, fuck, I hated that. I hate how that hit it. It's really good. Um, the room itself was oh, actually more. Can you look at the map real quick? If you go to. <laughs> it's S3, a black line there. Oh. Uh, right. If you go to S3, S3? that has a save point in it. Just so you know, because you just did all that shit with the other world. Okay. Thank you. Love me a save point. Better be fucking unlocked. Bro! This again? Alright. Yep. You're gonna rely on your map a lot. Yeah, uh, S3 you said? So like right here? Yeah. This normal, this comparatively normal ass room. There's just a fucking hand there! The hand outside the window. Okay, yep. So three. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, do I need? Do I? Am I checking the other rooms that I didn't check before? Like S four uh, and S six. Yes. Yeah. You, okay. You you have the option now to do those things. Okay. I just really wanted to pee. Thanks. I hated it. I Fucking hate it. It's so good. It's not good. It's too it's great. too spooky. It's very spooky. Where's this fucking door? God damn it! All right, here it is. Never mind. This is this is the real side though because I have to. I have to find the door before I can, it tells me it's unlocked. It's locked. I will say, for some reason, this is so fucking difficult to see. And it's, 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 it's this difficult to see on the PS2. It's not for some reason. It is absolutely, there's absolutely a reason why it's hard to see. Uh, do I go down the step? Second floor. Oh, the second floor has all the marks gone. Do I go to the second floor? Th that and examine room four. That's the one on the left. Or on, on your right. Oh, okay. When you turn around, it'll be on your left. Med checks, everybody. Thank you, Weave. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> The dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. Alright. Was that it? Was that all that was? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you that's actually incredibly pertinent knowledge to have. Okay. That I was is like, not like the storeroom where I just wanted to see it happen. Right, right, right. I see she circled it. Oh. Uh, okay, so we gotta go to room. Now we go to the second floor. It looks like, cause uh, uh, you're gonna have to go back to the elevator, I think. Yeah, that was that was me plan. Just gotta get fucking reoriented. Okay, we do, we don't mind rust. Rust is all right. Uh, okay, so... Okay, this is where I killed McGee. I feel your stress. Oh, there's two basements now. Lovely. Okay.
this motherfucker. Okay, there's just nothing. Just nothing that way. Broke lock, because of course. Is it a cutscene? I might just don't jump out at me. It should be a cutscene. Okay. I'm on the payphone. <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear me fart. I apologize. <laughs> Is this Leonard? <laughs> Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. Oh. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Wait, is she actually 24? Which do you no. prefer? Okay. To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. You don't want this war. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. <laughs> Heather, please. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know if it's been confirmed, but for a long time, the running fan theory was that whatever day this takes place Oh, oh hello. Uh, right. I got I that. I don't know if it's uh, So 31 would have been Alessa and 24 would have been Cheryl. Oh, okay, so that's what the 24 was. Yeah. 31, I figured, was Alessa. That was pretty clear. Um, It was just like... That guy's voice was not intimidating. Like, if I could have been, my ass could have been Silent Hill, and if he had said, and I would have. It would have been more intimidating if it had been the Bane voice, honestly. Yeah. Pepper, it's been like. Uh... Uh oh. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. Yeah, fucking nerd. I think I'm safe by shooting it too close. Well, okay. Funny. See, it was funny. I'm sorry. There's just a lot's happening. <laughs> I got a plastic bag. Got a health drink. What is a plastic? What do I need a plastic bag for? Well, I guess it's a stupid question, given where I'm at. But fuck. Um. Oh, do I need it for the blued? Oh, should I go back and get the blued? Uh, oh, hold on. Double checking to see. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I wanted to make sure you didn't need like a dumb thing, like a pen, to make a little like siphon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, which I could totally see this game doing, by the way. 
Yeah, I needed that extra third thing for no reason. She absolutely could just use what she's got. Feel your stress. Uh, that was what floor? Second or third? Third. Thank you. You don't want that rat tat tat tat. Oh, this fucking shit again. All right. Uh, turn to my right. And then to me left. Let's bag the blood. Let's get some of that good good. What? Maybe just interact with the bucket. Oh, maybe I'm not close enough. Oh, that too. There we go. Put blood. You got a plastic bag with blood. Stick that in my fucking pocket. All right. Uh, let's go back. I need to turn this way. I think. Yeah, I do. And then we need to we need to go. So I was incred. Sorry, ADHD. Um, I was incredibly impressed with the fact that Res Evil, mm -hmm. one run. Um, I think we only had like four deaths. Yeah. Maybe five. Um, and you know, like a like a, a handful of those deaths were like like the the thing where I was like I want to see what this looks like when it explodes on you kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, twenty eight hours of playtime. Yeah. I was legitimately impressed. I kind of thought it would be more than that, or less than that rather. I really. There's some stuff that. What floor am I? Or my I... second one. Oh, what the fuck floor am I? Yeah, on the There's third. Some stuff that admittedly I don't think we did. But I think that's because um one, we didn't we didn't play with every character. Obviously we didn't play with Jill. Yeah. So that, that eliminated some stuff. And two, just like like how we somehow missed the freaking Magnum. Mm hmm Like I still don't know how we missed that, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I guess it's just Trixie Dixie. I did find that strange that it was so early on, apparently, or much earlier than I would have expected the Magnum to be available. Well, and that's why, like, I wasn't too concerned about it. Was Shit's was bleeding! Like, Okay. Yeah, you were saying? Um, Do I gotta take the elevator again? So the magnum is apparently that thing that you do with the tombstones, but I don't ever remember getting the wind crest. So I must have just missed something in that location. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like that's why I didn't bother worrying about it was because like they were still giving me like I get Magnum ammo like once in a blue one. Yeah, the Magnum's and almost was... almost like a special gun because it does so much damage. Right. And like I was getting I was getting Magnum ammo so rarely that I was like, oh we probably just like have a gun yet. But also I was getting shotgun ammo before I found the shotgun. So yeah. I was like, eh, that makes sense crack. Ah! Oh, don't slurp me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, hold up. You know what? 
seems like a good time to try this out. What? How can I not, how can I not hit him? That's so dumb. So dumb, so dumb, so dumb. Hit him with that doo doo doo. I tried to do that, but fucking I wasn't allowed to hit him. Yeah, I mean, I know I have. I'm saying, like, it, I, I tried shooting him and she would not aim at him. Shoot her in the ass. It's gonna clear out this dungeon area. Oh, okay, I guess I did it. Yep. Yep. Alright. Let's get back to the oh, I, I guess that wasn't air quotes the start, but that'll work. It's locked. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. Alright. Uh, okay, and then Let's just keep going down. Oh yeah, baby, this is what y'all wanted. Like Dororama. Whole fucking side. Uh, okay, yeah. That's the equivalent to the exit, so we do not need to go there. Okay, this is the office. The real Silent Hill experience, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the ultimate Silent Hill experience was, like, trying to find the doors in the fucking bloody hallways. Struggling to find them and then having to be locked. God damn it, really? There's nothing in here. <laughs> She's just head tracking to the door to leave. God damn it. All right. Okay, were there any? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I got ampoule. Dirty syringes. Oh, damn it. There's there's a memo here on the chart. Do Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra. Yep. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Okay. Not sure what that means. Okay. Is save room. Which is good because we have 30 minutes left. Be prepared. 
And that's a wall. And that's a noise. That's a noisy wall. So let's see. We got to go just up and around. Did you say be prepared? Yeah. Because you have the safe room. You're prepared. True. True, true. I just thought you wanted me to prepare oh, for no, my... Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't like... Impending no, doom sorry. or some shit. <laughs> sorry, no. It was not the intention. <laughs> Uh Okay, so this elevator does work. Time to immediately leave it. Okay. I feel your stress. God damn it, I can't... Oh, it's it's over here? It's just behind... Oh, dear. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, huh? I see this and I want to ask him, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Just something being squishy over there. See ya, bud. Ass door. Broke ass OS. Broke ass OS, bitch. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, dude. So, That's a big I noise. I was coming up to our um, apartment today. You yeah. Know, from work. Yeah. Long day at work. And someone in the neighboring apartment is just throwing shit out of the apartment. And not right. just like, you know, like, you know, trash or something. Yeah. But I mean, like, just, just fucking, like, bed table, bed itself, like, furniture pieces just straight out. I think somebody abandoned that apartment. Oh, just straight up left? Yeah. Um, it was very interesting to see. There were, like, some people, like, spotting them to throw the stuff out the balcony. Mm. And I was like, can I, can I go into my house? Like, is everything okay? Oh, that didn't like, oh yeah, yeah, you can come through. That didn't like, put me where I thought. Like, I was legit concerned there was like, I don't know, like flooding or something. Yeah. Because like, you know, you know see people just like, chucking stuff out the balcony every day, you know? So, <laughs> that was my afternoon. It was extremely loud. But, I mean like, Dark went and checked, and he was like, "Yeah, it's like it never even happened." Right. It's like nothing outside. It was like, "Hey." Yeah, it's a little. That's quite a cleanup operation. It really sure looks like fucking it. Fucking black ops shit. I'll tell you that. Ooh, it's a big room. That straight up looked like. Like, either somebody abandoned it or got swept into protective custody or, or what, but like, right. it was weird. I feel your stress. Okay, she don't want to, she want to fuck with that, and honestly, I'm good. She does not want to feel the stress. Oh, wow, uh, wow. Oh, patient zero. Time. Love was never supposed to be a crazy affair. The fuck am I doing here? Did I miss something? Because I feel like this is the only place I could go left. Like, uh, third floor. In the basement. I'm in the basement. You're in a basement. Yeah, it was the only basement available. So, okay. There's no button to get to the floor. 
Um, all stairs are blocked off right now. Uh, or are they? Hold up. I see on third floor I can get to the stairs. Okay, maybe not. Hold up. I'll see you dead bodies again. Probably. It's good elevator music. Some of our pretty girl. Go back to the fucked up part, though. Make sure. I, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, let's turn to our left. That's my right. But that fuck, fuck, fuck this fucking game. All right, here we go. No camera. You motherfucker. I fucking feel your stress. This fucking shit. Oh, is this fucking thing though? Um. So I can't. I can't so get. You're, you're, you are defo supposed to uh, go to basement three. Oh. Why? Why do you wait till now to tell me? Well, because you want to explore. You seem like you're out of time. No, I just want to progress. We're done exploring. I, I am having a good time, but shit, I wanted. Yeah, right. we've already gone through the other world bullshit. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't seem like there's any other place to go. You are supposed to. Did you find? Did you go into C four? The. Sorry. No, I so. I, I tried using the elevator because there was an elevator spot that like made me think like it would, it would put me here. Like I see I have all this, but I have no idea how to get that. This, you, I'm pointing like you can see. There's that big swiggle line in the hallway that blocks that off. And... Um, I went to the day room. I did go into the day room. Oh, it's locked? Oh yeah, the door at the bottom is locked. Okay. Yeah. You need to go to... Did you find the crematorium? I definitely don't think so. Okay. I got the blood bag. I got key newish key items. Our perfume. You need that... to go to basement three. Okay. So I probably I just missed something in there, which I figured I did, but like. Yeah, like the entirety of the crematorium. No, I was there, but like nothing happened. I went and looked at the bodies and shit. And... She wasn't head tracking, so I was like, I don't know. Motherfucker's trying to find out. All right. Okay, I feel. I feel really dumb if. Yeah. Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to put blood on that? You know what? Oh, fuck it. Wait, no. Was... no? Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh. Oh, I was looking at the ladies. Um, two, one, three, four. I 
Either one was right here, right? Two, one. Oh, that was incorrect. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Two on the far. Okay. Okay. Two and three on the far left. One is oh, two and one down. Or two. And then four is on the bottom of the other side. All right. All right. Hey, are you trying to make the padlock reflect that? Yeah. That's not the answer. Well, fuck, dude. Then I am gonna save you before you. I'm gonna save you before you sink a bunch of time into that, and it just doesn't pay off for you. Okay. So see how that's organized in a grid. Yeah. Now uh, back out of this. Turn and look at the room. Oh fuck. Uh. Am I supposed to visit the? Well, but also notice how only some of them have a body on them. So, if you've, like, you see how it's lined up in the same sort of, of grid formation as is on the door? Yeah. The door of the crematorium, like the furnace, tells you the order of the bodies for the code. So if you check the door again, one is going to be the third column, second row. So go to that third column, okay. second row. It has a five on it. Okay. So five is the first number in the padlock. Can you can you write this down? Well, you have the thing in front of me, right? Yeah. You know what? This one. This one's simply not solvable because I don't have a piece of paper with me. So just just give me the number because I don't want to keep running back and forth. Because um, I if, if you didn't have the thing, I would just be asking you to write the numbers down. So you might as well just fucking. Does this thing seriously not give the code? It just tells you how to solve it. Oh, it doesn't. Oh well That's then. Funny. Well, the then... past like seven puzzles, it's given the answer to. This is the only one it doesn't. All right, write me down a five. Alrighty. All right, so two is the grid up uh, here. Two is one. Okay. I'm actually kind of happy it worked out that way, though, because I, I do kind of like just at least go through the motions. Yeah. Uh, three is seven. And four is zero. All right. 5170. Hey, but this is a weird lock. I'm like, what do I? Click on the thing to spin it. Pretty sure. Like, if you click on the two, it'll spin it that way. Yeah. Yeah, but what, what numbers am I trying to line up? Like, the... So the, the bright ones. The oh, bright in, ones. in the middle. Yeah. All right. Five. One. Oh, okay, I see. It's just spinning the fucking... Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, come on. Zero. I made a key. Now you can use that to get through the day room. All right. Uh, day room was on three. We said. Um, no, it's on two. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two's the one that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Or actually, it's on the first floor. I'm sorry. Yeah. Done.
Oh. Be the one that's split. Yeah, okay, all right, there's more than one day room. Yep. Whoopsies. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Feel your fucking stress, you bitch. Up the fuck down, dude. Fucking Samurai Showdown up in here, dude. You can't, you can't even fucking deal, dude. I'm like fucking Hamaru up in this bitch. Oh, that's what was fucking running around while I was reading that letter. Just a little, little nursey lady. Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. We're... Ah, I fucking. Okay. I know it looked like it to me too. Fucking dickhole. Happy, Happy first birthday. Cool. Oh, is that the door? Wait, hold on. Uh, no. Alright, uh, let's do examination room. Lock is broke. Lock is broke. Uh... Stairs, box is broke. No elevator. Uh, yeah, I'll save that door for last. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? Oh, I've been here already. Oh my god, where's the fucking door, dude? I feel your stress. Where? Oh. Oh. I oh, want a lunch. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 Not happening, ladies. I'm like fucking your Jimbo up in here. You weren't ready for that fucking Chambara. You weren't ready for that Samurai Showdown. Fuck, you see that dude? You see me fuck them up? Yep. You fucking see that shit, bro? God damn it, in a room like this. Oh, it's like, it's the mirror and then I gotta see where everything is, okay. Oh wait, or why I think there was a mirror. Yeah. I, I swore there was a mirror. <laughs> For, for, for fuck's sake. I was Game. just like, oh, just referencing the cool room, okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was. I thought it was like it. That'd be but, sick. But less scary. Alright, uh, we got C4. That's C3. Eh.
There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Like candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual of sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Okay. We saw... Huh? Nothing. This is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Do I need to spell blood on something? I had that thought, but I was kind of looking around first. Well, let's put some blood for the sacrifice. I was just going to put one of the cups now, just dump it. Bitch. Is that other door gonna be locked? Like if I go outside to check it, is it just gonna be like did just you save? I did. Okay. Is that other uh, like is it a waste of time to go check that door? I saw Yeah. Oh wait, I can't check that door. Never mind. <laughs> never, never you mind. I'm gonna save real quick just so I don't spill the blood again. And actually, it is almost nine. I kind of wonder if I should just stop here. I. Um. Hold on, let me see something. Like, if it's a boss fight, there needs to be like a save point immediately after, right? Right, yeah, I'm saying like um, it's this is probably a good a good point to stop. Yeah, I would just because I don't know when the next day point is. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let me turn that off. Don't look, don't look, Twitch, don't. Um, alright. There's another win in, guys. Uh thanks again for stopping by as usual. Um me getting COVID, really, as you can see, my, my room still looks like ass and not free wallpapered. So that really put a stop there. I think we're going to start up this weekend a little bit on that. So I'm hoping, praying, finally, in the next few weeks, um, we'll have something going. And if we don't on that, I might actually get my uh, SD card out of the Mr copy the save file and drop it in an emulator and, and play uh, Zelda in emulation if I have to, because I do want to get back on that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm doing great. My sister, we had a little bit of a scare because uh, she had chest pains, but it was, it's, it's just inflammation. Uh, I'm, I'm asymptomatic. Um, and we've gotten through the 10 days. So we're, I think we're gonna be all right. I appreciate that though. Thank you. We've, um, so yeah, uh, I guess other than that little situation of trying to get the rest of the stream back on, which has been going on for like months now, 
Uh, other than that, uh, I guess we'll be back uh, next week, right, Buttons? Same bat time, same bat channel? Yeah, man. All right, hell yeah. Guys, see you next week. Thanks for stopping in. Deuces. Say bye, bye. Buttons. Bye.